My whole experience on the Syndicate sort of been one constant learning curve. Like, obviously, Greg was the first rider I've ever ranged for, so there's a lot of learning there. Those sort of first two years, um, and then now um, it's sort of even bigger change with twice as many riders as we had last year. Um, all riders by Greg and you, all mechanics by myself. We don't have Kathy with us anymore, so sort of my job's new. Steve's jobs the same but also has a bunch of new stuff that he has to do so it's just been one massive learning curve if you haven't noticed <laughs> we've got laurie greenland nina hoffman and jackson goldstone it's been re honestly it's been really good it's been such a big sort of breath of fresh air like i obviously love the guys that we had previously but the it's just so totally different. It's kind of hard to put an exact pinpoint on where, why or how, but I think there's just a lot of energy. I'm not sure where we are, because apparently this is Spain over here, and this is Andorra, so maybe we start in Spain and we finish in Andorra. Because I, I need to uh, get something good after Winterheide, you know? So, and it's a brand new track, and it's new for almost everybody, and this is nice and exciting. Oh, look at the tackers! It definitely feels like there's an air of sort of like quote unquote the, the glory days if you like but like there's definitely that sort of fun, easy sort of just atmosphere in the pits um, but at the same time when it times to when the time comes to knuckle down and get serious you see everyone locking which is obviously what you need come race day. Uh, so Ethan is Nina's mechanic, don't know why I struggled there. <laughs> Could be brakeless the whole way to here. That'd be good. He is meticulous with the bike and wants everything just to be 100%, which is great, super like, consistent styles, approach to having things ready. Um, loves some drum and bass, doesn't try to get the, get the tunes going, come rebuild on a Saturday. But Woody is half asleep or at least from the outside looking in um, however long he's got is how long it's going to take to do but if he doesn't have long it's still going to get done <laughs> but no Woody's, Woody's just chill enjoys a good assess of the situation before diving in and rushing known that fun furry man for a long time but he's brilliant he's uh, he's got a wicked sense of humor I mean, Laurie's going to take the win with a uh... Well, the 41, I think, this week. 241. We've not seen the track yet, but that's what I'm saying. Love's a good moan. Sometimes it's welcome, sometimes it's less welcome. <laughs> but again, he just he fits in well with everybody. He knows how to have a laugh, he knows how to relax. But again, he also knows that when, when it gets serious, he sort of just adjusts his approach to the day. And Andrea, Andrea is a speedy Spanish man. Vamos! He's like, come on, like, vamos, vamos! He's like, go fast, vamos, vamos! <laughs> we have to say all of this, all the time. He has very soft but firm hands, does our Adria. Uh, but no, he's great, there's, uh, there's nothing you can't ask him to do, he's always willing to help. Um, and I think that's the thing for everybody, really, like, even though we're a bigger team now, like, there's, there's not necessarily as much need for everybody to roll up and muck in, but when you do need to, everybody's straight on it and helping out, which is great. Jordan is the money man. He makes sure we don't spend too much on gin and tonics on an evening. Um, but no, he's the, just basically here to learn as much about sort of the scene, the, the structure, what's needed, um, how the team operates, what we don't have, because we were kind of a little bit surprised to have four riders and four mechanics this year. Um, but yeah, just to come and help make a, the best plan possible really moving forward into next year and the years after. It's just it's one less thing that we've got to think about. Um, we don't have to worry about eating out every night and quality of the food. So he's he's got a dialed program now that's sort of dialed in over the first few races to sort of make sure everybody's, all the riders especially, needs a... a um, needs are met and everybody's eating sort of healthy good stuff that they, uh, they enjoy.
genuinely the, the biggest highlight is just how well everybody's getting on like it could be so easy for it to go the other way but like I say everybody who helped put the team together I think has done a great job of finding people that sort of fit well and create a good good like work environment but like just somewhere relaxed so that when the riders come in there's not like a lot of animosity or tension or they feel relaxed in the space that they're in and I think that's probably the biggest highlight really.